All right, that was Benjamin Netanyahu firing back at John Kerry and the Obama administration for essentially blaming Israel for all of the conflicts it now sees. My next guest says President Obama has indeed betrayed Israel. I want to get his reaction to what we just heard from Benjamin Netanyahu right now. Uh, Ambassador Bolton, he joins me. Ambassador John Bolton, former U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. You have said, Ambassador, that essentially what Obama and John Kerry did was stab Israel right in the front, not even in the back, stab him in the front. Did Netanyahu do what he had to do just now? Yes, I think that was a very effective refutation, both of uh, Resolution 2334 from the Security Council on Friday and what John Kerry uh, said uh, in, in uh, earlier today in Washington. Uh, the Obama administration in its uh, last month in office is trying to jam through its preferred uh, outcome uh, for uh, the Israel-Palestinian relationship. Uh, they are violating 50 years or more of bipartisan American foreign policy, which is rested on two basic principles. Number one, only the parties themselves can bring a lasting peace. Others, mm -hmm. outsiders, can impose it. Uh, and number two, the way to get it is what's called land for peace, that Israel gives up land that it uh, won in the two uh, wars, post-independent wars in 67 and 73. What this resolution does and what John Kerry's speech basically said is it's not their land to give back. It's illegitimate. So, you know, this it, is... Is a, that I, essentially refusing to recognize, then, Israel's right to exist? I mean, is that... That's what Netanyahu said is at the core of all this. Well, what, what they're trying to say, what the resolution does, despite what John Kerry said earlier, is define Israel's boundaries. Uh, to be the so-called 67 lines, which are really only ceasefire lines from 1949. And again, contrary to what Kerry said, it is an open invitation in operative paragraph 5 of the resolution for member nations to enact sanctions uh, against Israeli companies or their own companies doing business on the West Bank. So this is much more than a resolution about settlements. It's about uh, tipping the scale of the peace process in the direction of the Palestinians. Well, Netanyahu said what the U.S. should do at this stage is say they will not allow any more resolutions uh, with the Security Council, that they will not back this. Is that a, an option that you think is on the table at all, or did John Kerry pretty much make that clear that he's not going there? Well, I, look, I, I don't trust the Obama administration uh, on this. Uh, it's simply false when they've said that uh, to try and imply they didn't have a role in Resolution 2334. There's no doubt about it that they did. Uh, and so to say we're not going to bring any more resolutions, you need to parse those words very carefully. Uh, they may not bring them. Let's face it, this is the administration that prides itself on the slogan of leading from behind. So they led from behind on 2334, and they're going to lead from behind at the Paris Peace Conference next month. And if there's another resolution, they'll be leading that from behind, too. Uh, very quickly, before you go, you talk about the U.S. leading from behind. John Kerry would say, no, we're just doing what we have to do, one friend to another. Here he is. I want your reaction. Regrettably, some seem to believe that the U.S. friendship means the U.S. must accept any policy, regardless of our own interests, our own positions, our own words, our own principles, even after urging again and again that the policy must change. Friends need to tell each other the hard truths, and friendships require mutual respect. Friendship also require having each other's back. Ambassador, what's your reaction to that? I mean, really, this level of pomposity is hard to take. The fact is, this was a reversal of five decades of American foreign policy, and they know it. The Obama, Kerry, and I'll say it, Clinton foreign policy didn't get what they want from Israel, so they're taking it out in revenge in their last 30 days. I hope the resolution last week was the end of it. This speech is meaningless. It's just one man's opinion. Uh, that in less than a month will disappear unless there are further actions coming, and I would worry about that. Ambassador Bolton, thank you very much. Good to have you thank here. You.